Here we go in three, two, one. I'm KFYR TV Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lawrence. For the past several years, North Dakota has seen a change in air quality due to large fires in Canada and the Western United States. Look at all the smoke coming in out of Central and Northern California, getting caught up in the jet stream right into the Northern Plains. Blue sky, we might not have that for quite a while to come, given the smoke thickness and the pattern that's producing this smoke. I've lived in North Dakota for over 30 years. And in that time, I have witnessed the way our beautiful parks and lands bring people here from across the world. We are proud to show off that natural beauty, but as we have seen in recent years, there are times when our skies are clouded by smoke from across the country. North Dakota state regulators are currently developing a plan to implement provisions of the Clean Air Act designed to improve visibility in national parks and wilderness areas, such as North Dakota's Theodore Roosevelt National Park and Lostwood Wilderness Area. The state's current visibility plan ensures man-made emissions from within the state do not significantly impact visibility at those two parks. The new plan, now under review, maintains current protections to ensure visibility will continue to improve. According to the North Dakota Department of Environmental Quality, the primary remaining causes of visibility impairment in North Dakota are wildfires and international emissions from Canada, neither of which the state can control. Here are some of the facts. North Dakota already has the cleanest air in the country. The state has never violated federal standards that protect human health and the environment. It is one of only four of the lower 48 states with a perfect compliance record. DEQ's first visibility plan achieved half of the goal set in EPA's Regional Haze Program. That goal is to eliminate all man-made visibility impairment by 2064, which means the progress already made by North Dakota is more than a decade ahead of federal regulations. That progress was achieved in large part through the significant investment made in North Dakota's power plants. Over the last decade, the power industry in North Dakota spent over $2 billion to reduce its emissions by 66%. Advances in satellite technology and understanding of weather patterns have allowed researchers to more fully understand what causes a hazy sky. This new information helps the state manage guidelines to ensure that the clear skies we enjoy today will continue to frame our parks for years to come. Because North Dakotans have already done their part, interstate, international, and natural emissions are the dominant causes of visibility degradation in the state. Those uncontrollable sources of emissions now generate more than 80% of the haze in Lostwood and 87% of the haze in Theodore Roosevelt. Despite these facts, the EPA and others will likely ask North Dakotans to do more. DEQ will soon be under pressure to impose even more controls, particularly on power plants. However, modeling conducted by 15 Western states shows imposing more controls on power plants will not be cost effective. In fact, even if the remaining power plant emissions were eliminated entirely, the difference in visibility would not be detectable to the human eye. Take action today by telling policymakers you support the visibility plan designed by the North Dakota DEQ that recognizes the significant progress made through industry investment that ensures our region continues to benefit from both clean air and a reliable, affordable electricity supply today and in the future. Learn more about those efforts at cleanairnd.com.